as they thunder away to a perfect start. Formula One cars have evolved over 70 years and look nothing like the cars from 1950. Even though F1 cars are constantly being improved, the improvements these days are small and incremental. The only real thing that changes in a Formula One car from race to race is the driver. But what if you remove the driver from the car? Well, you end up with something that looks like this. This is Robocar, the world's first driverless electric race car. Robocar is a prototype developed for Roborace, the world's first driverless racing car series. It is fully autonomous, has 500 horsepower, four-wheel drive, and set a Guinness World Record as the fastest autonomous car in the world. Roborace is less about the hardware and more about a competition of software, such as which team can program the best algorithms that optimize trajectory and racing lines and how well it can autonomously drive around the track at speed. We are all aware that Tesla cars have self-driving capability, but most Tesla cars have that feature disabled while the company is still perfecting the software that controls the car. At some point in the future, you will be able to pay a fee to Tesla to download the autonomous driving software and have that feature enabled in your car. While well, Roborace is just an extension of that software development, in the same way current motorsports help drive car industry innovations, which filter down to the cars we drive. Autonomous driving software development through car racing will help companies like Tesla improve the software their cars use. The ultimate goal of Robocar is to use the technology developed on the racetrack to help prevent 1.3 million road deaths that occur every year by improving autonomous driving software for self-driving cars. And to anyone who thinks this is a waste of time and money, I suggest you watch any of the dashcam videos that are uploaded daily to YouTube, as there are way too many people that can't seem to drive a car. No one knows if Robocar racing will be boring or exciting to watch, as it's still too early to say. But the hope is, it will be an excellent proving ground for software engineers, and ultimately to help the automotive industry with advancing self-driving cars. Because God knows, some people need the help. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.